I knew I wanted to do interventional cardiology before I even started my pediatric residency. It was just a matter of, will I have the support and will I be able to show that I can? The first part of fellowship sometimes gets compared to drinking from a fire hose. They are gonna hold themselves to a very high standard and we are gonna hold them to a very high standard. We have two interventional cardiologists who will walk you through every step. They will hold your hand to teach you. The fellows are each unique, incredible individuals. We've got two fellows per year uh, for a total of six fellows. It's a really motivated and diverse and fun group. From the first day I even stepped foot in the cath lab, it was just expected that I was going to do something. It was like, well, I'm going to walk you through how to get access, and this is how you do it, now give it a go. The cases we get are so unique and complex. We do some teaching with the residents and medical students who are on the team. I am always happy to defer to the fellow for teaching. So if you have a low left ventricular and diastolic volume, what's going to be affected? Cardiac output. Cardiac output, well done. Why? Because you have less um, to go to the systemic. Give me two words that define that. Stroke volume. Stroke volume is going to be affected. Well done. Here I feel like I have the opportunity to go home and actually study. And I have time to read and focus on other things. I don't feel overwhelmed because I'm just running around all day. Anytime we're discussing a challenging case, we're always starting with the fellows. We want the fellows to make their assessments. We want them to make recommendations about what we ought to do next. Fellows who come in always know that they can call their senior fellows for help. They can always call their attending cardiologists for help. I don't call anyone doctor anymore. I'm not just a fellow that's training here. I'm, I'm truly treated like a colleague and, and like a cardiologist. We're like a big group of friends and like a family. Kids are so fun, and even when they're sick, they have this glow of just joy around them most of the time. Or you know that, that mom that, when you give her her child back, and they're doing better than they were, just like the relief and the joy, right? It's, it's kind of why we do what we do. At the end of the day, you're gonna be a cardiologist. The question is, what kind of cardiologist do you wanna be? You need to ask yourself, would that program help me to achieve those goals or no? If yes, this is your answer. Understanding why it is what they want to do is important. It's a full life commitment to go and become a pediatric cardiology fellow and then a cardiologist. You've got to learn how to do this right. In the end, it's all in the interest of providing the best care to the patients. Say yes to everything. If you can make the most out of your time here, you're gonna come out way ahead on the other side. If I had to do it all over again, I would totally do this all over again. I'm excited to see what the future holds.